Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to um, put a moss totem pole in this um, Monstera Deliciosa that I have. Right now I just have this little stick here that actually came from an orchid that I had along with these little uh, dragonfly clips. Probably recognize those from orchid um, displays. And I had seen on a couple of channels, and particularly Sam uh, Greenside Fox, Fox, that she had installed a, a moss totem pole to her Monstera Deliciosa. Now, mine isn't nearly as big as the one she has, but it's starting to grow some, and you can see it's starting to split uh, on the leaves. I have it on my living room window right in front of it and I thought I would go ahead and install it so it can start training to grow more upright because it is a narrow area that I have it in there um, so I needed to grow more upright than uh, laterally so stay tuned for that so first let's go ahead and take all of these little clips and strings and everything off and I actually have two plants in here this one here you'll probably remember from when I did a Lowe's clearance uh, haul that I got this um, for a dollar at their clearance um, rack and it was kind of lonely in this larger pot so I had purchased another one, I um, believe it was for like $3, and planted it in there and it's doing really well also. So it almost looks like one large plant. So now I think it is time for to install a moss pole. Now I got this one uh, through Amazon and I'll leave the link down below for it and it is a... 18 inch one they do sell them in 12 inch and 24 inch and I thought about getting the 12 inch but um, you know I just figured that it would outgrow it sooner than later so you can see here you just clip it or stick it down into the dirt and it does come you have to be really careful in opening these because you know how sphagnum moss is it is just gets everywhere so inside here it does come with some pins some like floral pins so you you can attach the stems right to it these are just regular floral pins okay set this aside and I thought that I would Put it like right in the middle. I don't have move this rock. I don't have um, any uh, branches or stems or anything like that coming through there. So I figured I'd just put it right in the center here. My rock back. And take a look at what I have here and start attaching these to them. Just you a little bit there. So I've got the pin right in there. I'll go on the other side. here right in there too now if uh, well I'm sure it will at some point get taller but you can 
add other, give it some more height, just purchase another totem pole and just add it right to the top, right up here. So that will uh, give you some more height. And I think I may attach this one too. So I've got um, some smaller ones growing down towards the bottom, but those larger ones that were starting to grow laterally, I wanted to start pinning and training. These I'm gonna let grow just a little bit more before I start training them to go more up because they're, I don't want it to snap too. So it's super easy to install this, um, and I do uh, water this. Check the soil on a weekly basis, but I water it typically about every two weeks um, because it is inside and it's on a north-facing window, so it doesn't get super dry, um, but I do mist it every couple of days. Uh, it, it is next to some other plants that I miss, so I just mist them all at the same time. But it, um, looks real nice it needs to fill in a little bit more and it'll do that and as um, leaves continue to open and gets more leaves it'll I'll start pinning more of the stems up to give it some more height 